All right, guys. Things are not well here in the Philippines, and uh, I guess what do you what do I mean by that? I haven't been feeling well. Uh, the past like two days, going on three days now. Um, I just haven't been feeling well. Grabbed a hold of some bug somewhere. Um, haven't been eating much. My appetite's gone. Whatever little bit I do eat, it kind of runs through me. Um, had a fever, a little fever, nothing really major or anything like that. Uh, that's why I haven't put up any videos the past couple days. I just haven't had the energy to, you know, go out and really do anything. Just kind of been staying here at home, uh, resting, um, relaxing, not doing too much. Uh, pulled a muscle in my, in my back, uh, so I got that going on too. Um, actually brought a TENS unit. I had a TENS unit back in the States and I brought that over with me. So um, I used that on my back past couple days to take care of that sore muscle. But you know what, you can get sick here in the Philippines and uh, you don't know where you get it. I mean, something you ate, something you drank. Um, you know, you, you order your water through a purification company here and you know, you hope they do purify the water you know, on a regular basis, you hope that if they supposed to change the filters, they change the filters, um, not just wash them off and then stick them back in because they want to save money. Um, you know, you can get a bug anywhere here, you know, go somewhere and eat something and the food's not cooked properly. Um, there's just many ways to get bugs here. Um, but yeah, I, I just haven't been feeling well. Um, today, well, today's Monday and, uh, I feel somewhat better. Uh, I got some energy in me, and uh, but I'm not going to go out and do anything. Matter of fact, Lud has a store closed today, and uh, she's not going to open a store. She said she wanted to stay home, um, but yeah, you know it. It'll run you down when you get a bug, and you don't know where it's from. Uh, should I be running to the doctor to get some medication? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll just see how it plays out. Uh, like I said, I, I'm feeling a little bit better today, so that's a positive thing. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you also an update on the Kia. Um, Saturday, I had a problem diagnosed on Friday. Saturday, I went to the auto, the auto mechanic that I use here and told them the part number, uh, asked them if they could find, find me the part number. And I also told them, hey, can you please contact me by the end of the day uh, whether you can get it or whether you can't get it or you know what the situation is and uh, what do you think they did by the end of the day on Saturday well they never contacted me so uh, I uh, went with you guys you know you guys left a lot of comments on the Kia you know suggestions on where to order from you know my parts from um, I actually went with what is it rockauto.com uh, Frank suggested that and that's what I went with. I ordered it, placed the order yesterday. I think the part was like $53 and it's coming from the States. Um, have, I'm having it FedExed. Uh, the quickest way they can deliver it here, they, they can't do an overnight deal. Uh, the quickest way is three to five business days. Um, according to what they're telling me, I should receive it by Friday. Uh, so. We should be good to go then with the car, um, but yeah, what a, what a headache with that. Um, you know, I, I want to get it and I want the car fixed because we use the car quite a bit, you know, to pick up supplies, uh, to take things to the store. Um, you know, thank, thank God Lut has other connections over at the store with other vendors that come, come around. Um, she, matter of fact, she's hooked up directly with um, San Miguel. They're the ones that distribute the alcohol. Uh, I'm not sure if they do the, the sodas too. I, I'm not sure, Lut handles all that. But we have a guy that comes around twice a week. You can place an order with him. And he is cheaper than where we were getting it over at um, DNGo. Uh, the only problem is, like I said, he comes around twice a week. So if Lut sells out, you know, we, have, we do have the backup. We can go over to the other place, DNGo, and get you know alcohol and soda from them. Um, but yeah, she has that connection. Um, uh, just other small connections that she has to where we don't have to run to the store and pick things up. Um, 
that we need the car for. You know, alcohol and soda, we need the car to put in the trunk to get it there. So, but anyways, uh, you know what? This is going to be a short video. It's not going to be long. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have more energy and I'll be able to get up and get around. Um, but yeah, having a bug here in the Philippines, you know, it sucks. You know, it just kind of wears you down and runs you down. And it's summertime, so the heat now, you know, gets to you. You don't really want to be out in the heat if you're not feeling well because, you know, the heat can, you know, really wear you down and you don't want to, you know, fall out with heat exhaustion or, you know, sweating. And, and it's just not a good idea. Uh, I'm not complaining about the heat here because when it does get hot, all I do is I think about back in the States and back uh, in the winter times when it gets so cold and the snow and everything like that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video, let you know what was going on and uh, let you know things are not well here in the Philippines. I am not well. So uh, anyway, stay tuned. I'll get some more videos out and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.